If you're not familiar with artichokes, they can feel like a bit of a puzzle. But really, they're easy to prepare, they're fun to eat, and they're delicious too. So the first thing to know is how to pick a good artichoke. Find one that's the right size for you. This is a very large artichoke. This will feed two, three people as an appetizer. Then pick it up. It should feel heavy for its size and not have too many brown edges or split leaves. Give it a pinch and it should squeak. So let's start by cutting off the top of the artichoke. Get a sharp knife for this job and be forceful going through there. It's going to be tough. So now we've exposed all the top edges and we have a little bit of that heart and choke inside visible. Now I'm gonna take off that stem end right down to the base and then we're gonna pull back some of these leaves that are around the bottom. They're a little tough to eat and this will just make a cleaner presentation. Okay, now taking a smaller sharp knife, I'm just gonna trim this end away just to make a nice clean finish. Okay, now comes those thistly leaves. Just trim off those tips so that you don't have any sharp edges left. If you're preparing a lot of artichokes, they can actually turn your hands black and give them a funny taste. A little bit of lemon on your fingers will help prevent that. Plus, an artichoke will turn brown too when just exposed to air. So give the artichoke a good rub with the lemon on any cut surfaces. That's the bottom and the top. Now, we prepared a pan over here to steam our artichokes today. Inside is a little basket. I'm gonna pop this artichoke right into the basket and that's sitting above some water so it's gonna steam nicely. Take the rest of your lemon half and squeeze that over the top. You can even throw that lemon in the side there just to give it some more flavor and it makes your kitchen smell fantastic. A few thyme sprigs, that'll help give us some more flavor as well. A little bit of salt on top and we're ready to steam this artichoke. So we're gonna bring that water to a boil and start steaming our artichoke. How long it takes depends on how big the artichoke is. So it's been 30 or 40 minutes. It's time to check our artichoke to see if it's done. Let's take it out. Now, while that's been steaming, a lot of that steam will have created water in between the leaves, so we're gonna need to invert it in order to make sure that all that water comes out. Let's see if this artichoke is finished. Take a knife and poke it into the base of the artichoke. It should be tender there, like you'd want to slice into that and eat it right away. No resistance. That's when it's done. We're going to turn it over now. It's had time to drain on this clean towel. Turn it upside down. It'll sit flat because we trimmed the stem all the way off. Let that cool, and then I'm going to show you how much fun it is to eat it. So once it's cool enough to eat, and that can be anywhere from lukewarm to room temperature, really, you're going to use your fingers and have some fun here. You're going to work from the outside to the inside. The leaves on the outside are a little tougher. You're not going to eat the whole thing, but you're just going to scrape that beautiful, tender, delicious part from the bottom. And then as you get closer to the center, things get more and more tender and more delicious. Remove one of the leaves with your fingers, dip it into your dip of choice, and then just scrape that along your teeth. Hmm. So once you've pulled away those leaves from around the outside of the artichoke, you're actually left with something that's quite pretty here. But once you get to the center, these leaves are so small and fine, there's nothing really edible on them. So you're going to start to pull these all away, and what you'll reveal inside is something called the choke. All these hairs, that's why it's called the choke. You don't want to eat this part. Instead, grab a spoon, and you're going to just carve out those hairy parts and discard them. By scooping that away, what you will reveal and what you're left with is what we call the heart of the artichoke, generally known as the nicest part. Take a knife and slice this into portions. And I'm serving this with a little aioli, but you could also serve it with hollandaise sauce or a lemon vinaigrette or even a lemon butter. And then know that the grand finale of eating your artichoke is to take some of the heart, dip that into your dip of choice, and enjoy that just as is. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click right over here. If you'd like to see everything I use in this recipe, click over here. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for more basics, put them right down in the comment section below.